Manual transmissions. They're definitely the last of a dying breed. What was fast and often the most efficient gearbox for cars, standard transmissions have now been replaced by the improvements in the almighty torque converters, dual clutches, CVTs, hybrids, and of course, EVs. Also, I can't help but to mention how advanced safety features and autonomy have also played a big role in digging the grave for manual transmissions. And lastly, the final dagger will come from global governments and their infinite wisdom to ban the internal combustion engine in the coming years. Hope still lingers here in the States as just a few Japanese automakers are holding firm. And today we'll take a look at those remaining manual transmissions as they fight tooth and nail to the death in a losing battle against the impending EV apocalypse. <laughs> Welcome back, luxurious fleet. If you are going to miss the manual transmission as much as I'm going to, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, as I will be covering the death of every single one of these manual transmissions in the coming years. But let's revel in what we have today. Let's just start with Honda. Honda has a few models up its sleeve still that have manual transmissions. It's been a rough year though for them as they've killed off quite a few models. The Civic Type R though goes on with the turbocharged four cylinder, two liter of course, the six speed manual. Now with the 11th generation Civic coming, we're gonna get a redesign of the Civic Type R. Six speed manual has been confirmed for that. What we don't know is exactly what the powertrain is going to be. Some are saying that it's going to be all wheel drive with electric motors in the back, you know, the turbocharged engine powering the front wheels. Very interesting. We'll see what happens there. Um, we no longer have the Honda Fit here stateside. They killed that. You guys uh, overseas might know that as the Jazz. Uh, they killed the manual transmission in the Honda Accord in the four cylinder options, or I guess you say the smaller and larger four cylinder options. Civic hatchback has been discontinued. Rumors are that they're gonna reinstate the hatchback with the 11th generation Civic going on sale next year. And the Civic SI has also been put on hold until the next generation comes. So right now it's slim pickings for your options for manual transmissions. You will be able to find some leftover models from the Accord and the Accord only had one to 2% of its total sales sold in manual transmission. So it's a big reason when they got rid of it. But if you've, you can find some leftover models of the Civic, the Fit, as well as the Accord. So you can get your Honda manual transmission on. Switching gears, pun intended, to Mazda. Mazda, their, their options are shrinking as well. As far as I know, they only have two models of the manual Manual. I don't think they have it in the Mazda 6 anymore. Uh, they killed it in the CX-5 a few years back, and that's fine because it was mated to like 155 horsepower four-cylinder. But the Mazda 3 is still holding on here. However, the only way you can get a manual transmission in the Mazda 3 is a front-wheel drive premium package, so it's pretty high up in price, and you can't get it with the turbo four cylinder. So you can only get the naturally aspirated two and a half liter. It still gives you a good amount of horsepower to 186, but it's not that affordable because you have to go up in packaging. And most people who would have got the manual transmission are likely not to buy one at all because there's a turbo model there. So you have the turbo three hatchback and sedan now, uh, although it's all-wheel drive, it doesn't come with a six-speed manual, it only comes with a six-speed automatic, and that is uh, just a gut punch. And the last Mazda with the manual transmission is the MX-5 Miata with the two-liter 186 horsepower, uh, just perfectly executed vehicle on every single facet of its design. I love that car. Make sure to watch my review of the RF, the retractable fastback version of that. Love that car so much. We all know. Miata is always the answer, right? Moving forward, switching gears. I did it with my left hand there because I pretended I was on a right-hand drive car in Japan around the Hakone Freeway Nissan. Well, the 370Z still has a six-speed manual with rev matching, which is pretty cool, with that VQ uh, V6, 3.7 liter, 350 horsepower, but there's not really a 2021 model that I know of, so you'd have to get a leftover 2020 model. And going forward with the Z Proto or the 400Z, could be unveiled sometime in 2021. We don't know when that car is coming, really. But we do know it is going to have a manual transmission, six-speed with a tur twin-turbo V6. 
We're all super excited for it. Hopefully they revise that grill a bit because it's, <laughs> it's a bit much. Outside of that, we have the Versa and that's about it. 1.6 liter four cylinder engine with 155 horsepower. Uh, you get a five speed, not a six speed there, but hey, it's a manual. I'm not gonna be picky at this point. Sentra, we don't get a manual in there. However, I believe 2021 Sentra SR, I think is what they call it in Canada, has a six speed manual. I don't know, maybe maybe it's because Canada's more like Europe in some way. So they're like, oh yeah, they're more sophisticated and more European-ish. So let's give them manual transmissions. I don't know, I don't have an answer for you guys. I'm trying to rationalize why Canada gets a six speed manual Sentra and we don't, but I gotta get a little emotional here. Nissan moving, shifting gears to Subaru. Crosstrek, there's some fishy things going on here because a Crosstrek two liter gets a six speed manual with 152 horsepower from its boxer, four cylinder. All right, great, six speed manual. However, if you want the higher horsepower two and a half liter that they just introduced for this past year, I think it was a 2020 model year with 182 horsepower, 30 horsepower more, you only get a CVT on that. Riddle me that one, guys. That one's hard to swallow, just like the Mazda 3 Turbo without a six-speed is hard to swallow. Six-speed manual, I should say. Impreza, sedan, and hatch gets a five-speed manual with that same two-liter 152 horsepower boxer. Four. I don't get why that one gets a five-speed and the Crosstrek gets a six, because they're very similar vehicles. Like I believe they share the same platform and everything. Don't know, some fishiness going on there. BRZ, thank God the BRZ and the Toyota 86 are still alive and well and are gonna get a redesign. Um, but the 2020 model year has a two liter four cylinder with 206 horsepower. Really enjoy driving that car. Not as much as I did the, the MX-5 for a lot of reasons, but it's still a six speed. Can't get enough of them. We know that it's gonna be replaced by the 2021 two model year maybe coming in the summer or the second half of 2021 i'm excited for it looks great hopefully they they refine it it's got more power 228 horsepower it's a nice 22 horsepower increase the torque is massively increased i can't wait to drive that make sure to subscribe because i will review it for you guys and the wrx sti get the six speed manuals with the turbocharged four cylinders not really surprised there that's their dna but i'm expecting a new wrx and sti to be unveiled in 2021 but i don't really got a, a lot of hope for the models coming in the 2021 calendar year so thinking 2022 we'll see those new wrx and stis with up to 400 horsepower it'll be awesome last japanese brand here in america well i forgot i think I forgot to put Mitsubishi in there. You can still get the Mirage in a five-speed manual with its tiny, tiny engine. I think it's a 1.2 liter and like 72 horsepower. I don't have the notes in front of me, but yeah, you can still get the Mitsubishi Mirage. I forgot it. I can't believe I forgot them on the list. Easy to forget though. Most of you wouldn't even notice if I didn't include them. All right, Toyota. We got a few options here. Thank God we still have a few. Toyota Corolla six-speed manual. If you want the sedan, you can only get it in the SE trim. Uh, you get it with the two liter 169 horsepower and that transmission does rev match on the way down, which is pretty cool. However, there's also a special edition Apex edition which is really, really stiff model, no extra horsepower. Um, that's only available in the sedan as well. If you want the six-speed manual in the hatchback, that's not really an issue. You can get it in the SE as well as the XSE. And what about a GR Corolla? Well, we don't get the GR Yaris here. The GR Yaris is one of the best vehicles Toyota has ever made. I'll go out on a limb and say that, the most exciting vehicles Toyota's ever made. And it's been a long time since they made something that special. We're not gonna get it here. However, it could come in a GR Corolla. It could be announced and available for sale in the 2021 calendar year. But we're all excited for it for sure. Uh, speaking of the Yaris, the Yaris is killed in America, but remaining models of the sedan, I believe still have some manual transmission options there with a six speed and just like i mentioned with the subaru brz that of course pertains to the toyota 86 for the current model and the replacement model coming soon and the last vehicle that i'm aware of from the japanese brands that has a manual transmission available here in late 2020 is a toyota tacoma pickup truck i believe this is the only pickup truck we've talked about on this list i don't think a manual transmission is available on the frontier for example uh, but the uh, Tacoma gets the manual transmission only in the V6 options now. Uh, no longer do you get it in that, I think it's a 2.7 liter turbo, 
naturally aspirated four cylinder. You used to be able to, I think it was a five speed, but you can't get it anymore that I'm aware of. So you can only get it in the V6, TRD Sport, TRD Off-Road, and TRD Pro models on the Tacoma. And I have a special bonus round for you guys because I also talk about Korean cars. I'll just quickly rip through the list here. Uh, speak of rip, rest in peace, G70 manual transmission. The last year you'll be able to get a Genesis G70 with a manual transmission is the 2021 model year, the 2022 model year. Uh, with the refresh, large refresh is not going to have the manual transmission with that two liter turbo. Hyundai Accent, Hyundai Elantra, Veloster, Kia Forte, and Kia Soul all can be had with manual transmissions. And there's other manual transmissions out there, guys, from Mini to BMW, Aston Martin, etc. There are other ones out there, but I just wanted to talk about the ones that pertain to my channel the most, which is Japanese and a little bit of Korean autos. I'll probably come out with this list maybe a year from now to see how things change. I don't think it'll change a whole lot, but who knows? The the amount we saw die in the, this past year with the, the Yaris, the Honda Accord, the Civic, SI being postponed, a lot of weird things. I mean, the Accord manual transmission, rest in peace. And I'm sure I'm just missing a ton of others, but guys, I have to leave it there. I'm sure this video has carried on for a long time. And if you're watching this video on the day it came out, it should be like New Year's Eve. So make sure to have a wonderful New Year's Eve. Stay safe, get an Uber, don't do anything dumb. <laughs> Too dumb, I should say. And have a wonderful rest of your 2020, which is like a day. And 2021 is gonna be the best year for all of us. It's gonna be amazing. I cannot wait to share this next year with you because 2020, you guys made it the best year of my life. And I can't wait to have another best year of my life next year in 2021. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't smashed the like button or subscribed, go ahead and do that. I will see you guys in the comments as always. Take care of yourselves. Happy new year and peace out. <music>